Hello, everybody. Hello. And how are you doing today? Oh, I am so delighted to hear it. And I'm doing all right, and you and I. E I'm you too? Yes, I'm all right. Okay. And you're still wrapped up warm and everything else. What's the temperature today, do you think? Uh, 22 degrees. <laughs> That's the inside temperature. Oh. The outside air temperature is 18 degrees here in, well, almost sunny England. <laughs> Let's find out what it is at your hometown, shall we? Yes. Temperature in Verona, Italy. It's about 26 degrees in Verona, Italy. It's a little bit cold. A little bit cold. Oh, yeah. But it's going to be 29 today. Uh, today. It says so right there. 29. Yeah, I see. But usually we have 34, 35. So 26 cold. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. And why are we interested today, particularly in the temperature in Verona? Because... Because my holiday is ending here in England. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So in a couple of days, you will be on the train going back to Manchester Airport and flying Ryanair. Is it Ryanair? Yeah, you're Ryanair. Direct to Verona. Direct to Verona, where you're going to have all of these cold, cold temperatures to have to deal with. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so how, how has the holiday been? Uh, my holiday here was uh, really nice because, uh, you know, it was the first time that I... Uh, Use, uh, use a mechanical sim uh, cockpit simulator of 737 because at my home, when I have time, I, uh, I use the VR, so virtual reality, and God bless, I have no problem with my eyes, you see? Oh, my goodness me! <laughs> well, this must be a, quite a difference then to be able to actually reach out and click on a switch instead of a virtual reality switch. For me, was uh, for the first time, was a shock because uh, <laughs> even if I know what the elements, the buttons, the knob do, but when I see it, <laughs> where you are, where I am. <laughs> well, today is going to be our last flight. Yeah, I know. Sad, sad, sad. It's going to be the last flight that we're going to be making today, and then you are going to make your real flight with Ryanair back to Verona on Sunday. And then I will be all on my own again. Oh, woe is me, woe is me. But you always can escape. Yes, I can always escape. I can always escape. And we're going to make a good escape today for our last flight together. And you will be Capitan. And our last flight today was requested by 737 SST. And he said, Please give a short hop from a UK airport to either Amsterdam or Rotterdam. Oh, well, that was easy enough. And they are short hops just across the North Sea. So I went online and went to Rotterdam to look at all of the arrivals there. And there is not one from any UK airport. But I went to Amsterdam and there are several there from different places in the UK. Edinburgh, Glasgow, London, of course, and Manchester, Leeds. That's not too far from here. But I also saw one from Norwich. Now I've got the scenery for Norwich. It's a UK 2000 scenery and it's a delightful little airport. And I had not used Norwich very much at all. So I thought, let's do the flight between Norwich and Amsterdam. What do you think? Yes, it will be a nice flight. Yeah. It a quick flight. It's a quick flight. It's, it's a very short flight, actually. And we'll go and have a look in a minute on um, 
uh, flight aware will show you what the flight is and then windy.com will look at all of that and then make the flight plan as we usually do so this is the last one the last one together together in yes. this year in this year and there's always next year when you get your holiday next year <laughs> and you're back in oh the sun's gone in again and the temperature's gone down again. Oh, and you're going up into 29 degrees is going to be the climb today in Verona. Oh, my goodness me. What are you going to do with all that heat? For first time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, let's go ahead and go on into the flight preparation and join us there, why don't you? Well, here we are in Flight Aware. We're looking at KLM's Flight 1516. It left Gate 3, which is Stand 3 in the UK, and arrived at Gate A8 in Amsterdam Schiphol. But that, of course, A8 doesn't match up to the actual stands, so we'll have a look at that in just a moment. Here's the... Uh, the departure time, the taxi time departing was 10 minutes and the taxi time at arrival was 9 minutes. So you're going to have to land and get into the stand pretty quick. Okay. And here's the route. It's straightforward. Look at that. Just one waypoint out here and then straight into Amsterdam. And looking at their particular flight level, so there it was, they looks like they made 23,000 feet. And in their particular, which was an Embraer 175, a twin jet. Well, we're going to be a 737, of course. Interesting that the last flight that landed was 22 minutes late, but it left on time. So we'll have to do better than that. Now, going into Flight Radar 24, here you can see East Anglia on the left-hand side here. And here is the route that the flight took. And there's its destination over here. I'm going to zoom in on the airport because you can do that in Flight Radar. And here you can see this is stand number three and that's where it departed from so we'll do exactly the same and then at the de All right. destination let's see what it comes in ah oh. we looks like we lost it right here in this section um, you can um, go and find the not last one, but the last last one, and you will have the stand. All Sometimes. right. So, okay. all right. Let's go ahead and look and see if that brought it in any closer. No, always. <laughs> no. <laughs> Disappear. It's still. It looks like they turned off their TCAS uh, while coming in, but this this section right here. This is the A section, the Alpha parking section. So we'll be coming in on the same. We'll be picking one of these spots, whichever looks clear, whichever seems to be convenient, because gate A3, the gate gate, is obviously some place where they get bussed into. I don't know if it's in here or somewhere else. I'm not familiar with the gate system for passengers. But these, these are all stands and they're all the alpha stands. So, okay, you're okay. going to one of those? Yes. Right, let's have a look at Windy. And here we are. This, is, this area is known as East Anglia. And here's Norwich. And it's got a very famous cathedral there, by the way. 
So you can see the general direction of the wind is going from west to east. And it says here wind is 240 degrees at 7 knots. Visibility is 10 kilometers or more. Clouds scattered at 1,000 feet. Ah, now that's the reason for the minimum VFR warning here. So it's broken at 2,500 feet, overcast at 3,000 feet. So we've got a bit of cloud that's going to have to climb to go through so they have possible IFR conditions there. Temperature is 16. <laughs> well, we are warmer than they are. Dew point 14. Now there's a two degree difference. We're not expecting to have fog. With a seven knot wind, it's going to be blowing it out over to sea anyway. But here, there's the Q&H 1013, which of course is the same as standard. So looking at the runways, and here's the runway. This will be the one that we'll be taking off from. 27. 27. That's the one. So we're going to, let's look at this. We will have a... Here's the stand. A long taxi. Yeah, that's the reason for the 10 minute taxi time. Huh. Okay, well stand 3 is over here, so we'll be departing from the scene. Let's have a look now at... Here's Amsterdam. The wind is coming in strong again from the west to the east. It's the same wind, it's not far from uh, Norwich, 270 degrees at 9 knots and varying. Visibility is 900 meters, light drizzle. Oh, you're going to need to put on the windscreen wipers. Clouds few at 800 feet. Oh, well. I remember oh, one yes. of my landings. Oh, yes. So yes, you remember one of your landings there. Clouds few at 800 feet, scattered at 1300 feet, broken at 1600. Temperature 17 degrees. It's colder in Amsterdam than it is here in the center of England. Q and H is 1012. Now the runway, which runway are we likely to get? Probably this one. This is the one that seems to be Two seven. Yeah, that's that's my guess as well. Would be this one. Two seven. So departing two seven, arriving two seven. The length of the runway is eleven thousand three hundred and twenty nine feet. So plenty of runway to come down, and they are well lighted. Well lighted. All right, now that we've got the basic information, we think that we now know what we're likely to be encountering. Let's see about making the flight plan. So we're Ryanair, we're 186, we're departing from EGSH, and we're going to go to EHAM. And we have an alternate of EBBR, airframe and down here is our cruise profile here's our registration right there it looks like it's a scheduled flight time of one hour so let's put in full because we are very popular and we have one ton of cargo and here's the route very simple, straightforward route. We can have a look at this. Let's have a look. See these that we've got right here? This is the Euro Control. And these are the ones that have been used by recent commercial flights. It says the route distance is 144 nautical miles, and that's it. And there's EBBR in Brussels, that will be our alternate, should there be any issues. 
No. Never? <laughs> no. We don't go to Brussels today. We don't go to Brussels today. <laughs> no, we stay away from Brussels. Okay. All right. I've not put in any um, altitude. We'll see what the altitude is given to us when we do this, the flight. So we'll save that and then generate and see what comes up. Oh, well, here we go. There's the flight level is 21,000 feet. Well, we're not going to be at that altitude for very long. It's a very, very short flight. Airtime is 42 minutes. Here's the block fuel is 5,509 kilograms. And the route is straightforward. And then there's the route. So let's have a look at this. Average wind is right there. Look, we'll need that. The ground distance is our name, our call name. Oh, look at that. You're absolutely right. 186 ground distance. Well, I think there's something significant about that. That's good. That is wonderful. And there's the block fuel that we'll need to load on, which will be my responsibility since I'm going to be first officer today. I'll make sure the tanks are put to that much in there. The reserves and the trip and taxi are all there. Now we'll have a look down at the weather to see if there's any significant weather. Nothing on this chart or that one or that one. So it's looking like there's no significant weather in between. Oh, but look at this. At 18,000 feet, tailwinds. Well, that's nice to always have that. We knew it was a fairly good strong wind going from west to east, but we didn't know if it would be at this altitude as well. But it looks like we've got tailwinds, good strong ones as well, by the looks of it, at our flight altitude. Not bad, eh? No. Not bad at all. Will help a little bit. Yes, it will help with the fuel economy enormously, and it will also shorten the flight time. And here's the profile, starting out here at Norwich, straight up to the top of Climb, and then right across here, and then down, here's Sugol, that's one of the main waypoints coming in, and landing at Amsterdam. Okay. We're all set. Let's go now into Navigraph and build our charts. All right, here we are in Navigraph. So we click on flights, do new flight. We'll take it from Simbrief and there is our route. And brings it all in. Look at that. Straight in. So we'll go ahead and right click on this, open the charts list. We need the airport, put that in. We need the coordinates. Let's see, oh, there are no SIDS, no SIDS at all. And no stars either. So we'll be definitely uh, just going straight out to this first waypoint when we depart. And over here at our destination, we'll come down here to put in the airport. We will need that. We'll need the parking stands because those are the ones that we'll be pulling into. Now for the approach, we're going to be coming in on Thanks. runway 27. So I need to go down here. Here we are. Category 23 ILS runway 27. So I'll put that one in. And then we're coming in on the Molly 2 Alpha. So here's the, this is it. So let's have a look at that and put that overlay. So 
Here's the run in. Come straight down. There's Mollix coming down on this route and coming then in on there. Now we'll need to have a look at the approaches here because if we're coming in to runway 27, so uh, we'll be coming in from Sugal, ILS runway 27. Let's see what that brings up. Okay, so that's what that has. So let's also bring um, this up. Ah, so it looks like we're going to have to come down here. We're going to go to the Sheepol VOR. VOR right at that point. Then make a left and then do that pattern all the way around, down and around to come in on runway 27. It's possible that they may just give us this a direct a standard uh, right base pattern in that case I will leave it up to you as to what you do okay yes so that is going to be us coming in and parking stands well down here this is where we lost track of all the incoming flights is in this area right here so this is the Alpha parking area, so you'll be coming in to land uh, on 27, which will be up here. And then you're going to have to make your way all the way around. It's going to be quite a bit of a, a journey there. So here's coming in on 27. Probably you'll make the N9 or the N4. And then you're going to have to alpha. Yeah, take the alpha down through here. And then oh yeah. Uh, you're going to have quite a a little run to get down to the this parking area. It's either that or you go all the way around here and then down. Which do you prefer? Maybe we'll go around. Go around this way? No, the other way. Go, go this clockwise, other clockwise. Okay. Well, there might be a few um, kamikazes, you realize that. This is a busy airport. So you're going to have to navigate and negotiate with all the kamikazes as you get around to the Alpha parking area, which is down here. Okay? Yes. All right. We're all set. We have the basic information. And our erstwhile pilot is ready to take them on. <laughs> okay, let's go into the cockpit and get things prepared. Ah, there you are. Come on in. Take your seat in the jump seat. Remember to buckle up. We we'll never have any bumps here to spill the champagne, but you can never tell, can you? And I promise, Captain, Captain is here. I promise I've been around, I've kicked the tires, I've inflated them. I used the hand pump just like you told me to. Oh yeah. And also I cleaned all the windows. Look, look how clean they are. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> here was a scratch. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> So all of that is done and of course I've made sure that the most important cargo is loaded which is the champagne and the beluga caviar which we are famous for and yes I have filled up the tanks we have the right amount for the fuel for the journey from here which is Norwich and we're going to go to Amsterdam. This is Norwich Airport. This is a UK 2000 scenery and they really yes. is a lot of good detail on here. And even you look the clouds. Even the clouds is the UK, oh, UK 2000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wouldn't we, wouldn't you say that? 
and we're looking at 28, 27, 28 frames per second on this very beautiful detailed scenery from UK 2000. Now the the scenery at Amsterdam when we come into it is made by Fly Tampa and they always make some very highly detailed scenery so we'll have to see how it looks when we come in to make of course a perfect landing you've and this is of course your last flight of this year in Ryanair 186 so ah any instructions Capitan <laughs> can we can, can we need to the flight we can certainly do that right let's get ourselves going right captain we're all set to go everything is looking good so the first thing that I will do I will put the battery on I will look for 25 volts which we have so in that case I can now put the foil pumps on I will put the four two on the wings and two on the other wings the two center no because we sure do we do a quick flight a short flight and now I put the APU on and uh, meanwhile we waiting uh, that the EGT goes with uh, between 10 and 8 and then uh, go down to between 4 and 2 and yep and then we will get enough gas temperature going this APU where is the APU located the APU is the little engine that we have on the back on the on the our plane oh and the tail of the aircraft that's right Okay. Is that one that uh, if you are on the gates, on the gates, inside the airport and look to your air, to your aircraft, you see a little bit of that he's smoking something. It's not because <laughs> <laughs> the captain go on the back of the plane to smoke, but it's the plane that's smoking. Yeah, it's the, it the definitely engine is. The APU walking. It definitely is. Okay. In short time the APU is on. As so soon as the blue light comes on, there we go. Now we're we now running. 115 volts. Yeah, I put. Uh, turn on the IRS. We'll get our location while we're doing the rest. I put the galley on. In this time, uh, we have uh, the kitchen which is running. So for sure now, because it's my last flight, I can be. I can have a warranty. <laughs> Nothing. No, nobody comes. So we can continue. <laughs> <laughs> Arming, no smoking active, fasten seat belts is active and I Alright. Here's the left and the right window heat, so we've got warm windows. The probes I'm putting on now and there's the electrical hydraulic pumps. We have the forward hatch open captain and the equipment stairs are down for the passengers. Oh and they're loading now, so they're coming on now. So the self-service, self... Self-loading self self cargo. cargo. Self-loading cargo. Welcome self-loading cargo. <laughs> Here's the APU bleed. And I'm turning on now the recirculating fans and the packs. And now we the have air conditioning is running. Good. Outside air temperature is recording 18 degrees. So it will be neutral fans going on in the back. Right. Steady. And the steady light is on. So I think we are set to programming the FMC. To program the FMC. So position in it. We are on the airport Norwich, which is A G S H. Yeah. We are on the stand three. And for the stand 3 I now look here and we have the position just like that. Go to the route. We'll fly from Norwich to Amsterdam Schiphol, which is H M. Destination. Mm -hmm. We are always Ryanair 186. And then I go to the route. So the first point we we have on our route is Botso. We go on the 
L17, which is our... The Lima 17, yeah. Then the next and even the ultimate fix is Molix. And now activate. We have to hear now what the ATC is in two. Okay, so is that, what number is that? Eight, two. Norwich, airport information, Golf 114, 9-up in, Zulu, visibility 240 at 9-up, greater than 20 miles, sky condition, temperature, few clouds at 1,400, 1,800, scattered, ceiling 2,200, broken, dew point, altimeter 1814, 1013, landing departing, runway 27, VFR aircraft, say direction of flight, all aircraft read back hold short instructions, advise control on initial contact you have, Golf. All right, we have Golf, and it's saying the active runway is... 27. Okay. Uh, you have even... A... No, we, d we can do that as soon as we get ready to go. We know we're going to be on 27. And... Uh, we'll be 27 when we come in. Because it we have not SIDS. No SIDS on this one. And the arrival will be on 27 in the end. ILS 27. There we are, ILS 27. And we have the Molix 2A star, which is Molix 2A. And the uh, transition, for transition we have. Is it Sugo? Tidmo, Sugo. What's so Rami, Molix, Lupix. Sugo, and then from ah, SPL. Yeah. See, there it goes on that route. That's the Sugo one. Right the there, and that makes the the right downwind. Yeah. All right. Looks like we've got a good plan there. On. And turn your switch back to map. Map. There we go. And now put on terrain here. You've got the weather right there, and we are twenty-one thousand. I'm going to put 21,000 in here for the pressurization and we're going to be landing at Amsterdam. What is the elevation of the airport? 12 meter under the sea. Under the sea, so zero. <laughs> and uh, we have to put even the submarines. <laughs> submarines. And Slash 4 slash 10 slash 13 and then descent and and you utilize on the 8 page number 8 all oh, that now is on 7 I have 4 2000 150 and 100 it is and a QH and for arriving I have to put here on It's 10, 10, 13, the q and of variety. Oh, standard. And 200 is 26431. And, and now for 200 we have... For 150. 266. 26. And for 266, 22. Good, execute. Well, now we can go and do our initialization. What we need? No plan fuel? Well, we've got reserves of 2698. We need 2132 for trip and taxi. That comes to 4830, so that will be 4.8. 4.8 plan fuel. What's reserves at 2.7. 2.7. Was our cost index? Uh, put the zero fuel weight in. Let it calculate. Good. Cost index is six. Cruise altitude is two one zero. Three one. And we are transition altitude. Uh, 
execute. And one limit the code key. Well, yeah, the 18. Same. We'll okay, use 10 flaps. Flaps then because our runway is not really yeah. long. And double click on the center of gravity. Now that we've got 4.78 on the trim, which is good, we are there. 145. Good. And our heading is 268. So we'll put in 268 for the course headings. Two six eight and two six eight on this. Okay. Now got twenty one and zero here. That's fine. So let's see if we have a we have a good one. So B O R one. What is our um, what is the frequency of the I L S at at East at E H A M is one one fifty five one 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 dot five five and will be two six six and what's the uh, is one three two the eighties one three two one three two and nine eight and what is the uh, decision height decision height is fifty and it's that. And it's that. Okay. Good, we've got that in. Right, are we pretty much clear across the board? Is everything ready? All right, we'll bring the stairs up and we'll close the door because everybody is on. Let's get our clearance for taxi. What number is that? Uh, is uh, four east six. Norwich Ground, Ryanair 186, ready to taxi, departure to the east with hotel. Ryanair 186, taxi to and hold short of runway 27 via taxiway Alpha, contact tower on 124.25 when ready. Taxi to and hold short, runway 27 via taxiway Alpha, Ryanair 186. Right, we're cleared, make sure that everybody is on board. So. Now I will uh, request uh, the permission to taxi and, and uh, push back for first and I will put the nose, uh, I request the, the nose to the left. I will put and 90 degrees. 90 degrees. That's it done. And then stop. Go ahead. Okay. We've been cleared for pushback and start. They want the tail to our right. Push tail to the right. Parking brakes release, please. Collision lights are on. Parking Air conditioning release. packs are off. Brakes released. Which engine are you going to start with today? The number two. Okay, switch to number two. Brakes released, here we go. And switching to engine number two for start, the start valve has opened. We're starting to spin up. The N2 is climbing. I'm waiting for 24. And when we be, I will put the fuel on in this moment. On. And we see oh, there's Air France parked over there, and we've got Fly B over there. Now the engine is initiated to running. Ah, uh, we can hear the engine starting now. 42. Good, they've got a burn there. We're looking now for 115 volts up here. Got 115. Weird. Switching to engine number one, turning on number one. Oh, it was a perfect push pushback. Yes. We have nine. And Two stop valve is looking good. Pushback complete. Parking brake set. Parking brake set is on. Brake set. And I 
put the fuel on. In a minute we'll be here even the first engine. Okay, thank you. From and the, this is looking good. We'll be looking for 115 volts from engine number one. And we have ignition on. Yeah, there's it. We have ignition and yes. there's 115, have volts. 115 volts. Now turn on the main engines. Main engines is on. Okay. Air conditioning is on and APU is off. And for taxi. Taxi is on. Taxi lights. And I'm going to flap 10. I agree with the taxi the takeoff speeds. We have no change. No change. So, recall. And recall is check. We're all good. Let's just it's run clear through the, for the left. Recall flight controls, check flaps. We have green lights on flaps. Stabilizer trim is correct. Auto brake, RTO is correct. Speed brake lever down and detent. Ground equipment is clear. Clear. Clear for the left, clear for the right. So and we're ready to taxi. Brake off. <coughs> Clock is 
started, lights are on, engines continuous, and position light is now steady and strobe. We are ready. <coughs> Leads, packs, auto, landing, and is, we are set. Oh, it's a short way. Yes. It's 6,000 feet. Good. Now I need some gas. And push the toga. And we're rolling.
champagne, <laughs> and we were back when uh, we received the all the set. Stay fine. No, we touch the 
watching the the sorry. Yeah. We have another one. Oh it's sheep while it's uh, so heavy in traffic. Full 
grass or the airport. Near the railway. No idea. We'll have to see when we get there. So 
to land, we don't want to be crowding them. So we'll bring this down to 145. That should give us enough spacing. All lights are on, check, everything is ready for secure for landing. That means it's on the runway. Traffic. Traffic. Where? Yeah. Where? Ahead. It's on the runway. Yeah.
Pacifica, Niner 159, hold position, caution other traffic. Hold position, Pacifica, Niner 159. And there's the kamikazes. Run over them. <laughs> Boom. And you'll need to follow that aircraft. Ship on ground, orbit 1262, request taxi to the gate. Orbit 1262, taxi close. to the gate, Papa 2, using taxiway, Victor 1, Victor, Victor, Sierra, Victor, Whiskey 5, Delta Bravo, Alpha 1, 6, Alpha. Taxi to the gate, Papa close. 2, using taxiway, Victor 1, Victor, Victor, Sierra, Victor, Whiskey 5, Delta Bravo, Alpha 1, 6, Alpha, Orbit 1262. We need to go down there, to the right. So, no, that'd be best. Yeah. Ship ground, Piper, Papa Hotel, Romeo, Zulu, Gulf, with Romeo, ready to taxi, IFR. Piper, Papa Hotel, Romeo, Zulu, Gulf, taxi to and hold short of runway, one, Get eight, out of left. it, get out of it. Gulf, Gulf, by Echo, one, Bravo, November, two, I Echo, go down six, there. contact, See where the aircraft one, turned one, in down there, one, that's two, two, pretty much five, where we've got to go. Taxi, hold short, runway, one, eight, left, using taxi, Gulf, Gulf, by Echo, one, Bravo, November, two, Echo, you know, in a way, it's these uh, little box that they've got in here that are, that do increase the frame rate, uh, that do reduce the frame rate, I should say. All that animation has to take up memory, and there's a lot of animation. There's a bus over here. There are vehicles over there and in front of us, they're everywhere. Now, there to the right here. Get out of it. Get out. Uh, yeah. And go down there, follow that aircraft that you see down there. release the crew to pick up all the broken glasses <laughs> when we get to A2 that's when we should turn in. A2. A5, and next is A4. Orbit 319 
Snyder, taxi to and hold short of runway 18 left. All right. And stairs are extended, door is opening, and we'll begin the shutdown. And getting clean up. We made it. Well, that was his final flight before departing for Verona on Sunday. We'll get the editing done and then get it up online and he'll be watching it while he's in the air, believe it or not. They have Wi-Fi on Ryanair. And it was a nice landing, smooth landing, and he took control. He took control and landed even though they said to go around, but we are, <clears throat> we are Ryanair. Resistance is futile. And besides which, the, air, the runway was clear and he made a decision to land and he is the captain in charge and therefore it is his responsibility and his authority. ATC may not always agree, however. Well, that's, that's up to them. So we did all right we did all right well what do you think it was a pleasure to hear even today and other days capturing this uh, uh, beautiful cockpit and uh, for the next time okay we will see each other for the next time okay take care i hope that everything worked out all right for you 737 sst and we did move the camera, you did ask for that, so we did move the camera to make sure that we would be able to see the landings and everything, so I hope that that worked out all right for you. So we'll see you the next time on Ryanair 186. Bye. Bye.